Okay class, today, I decided to take you all to the park. But David, you are not gonna play on the playground, you are just gonna watch all the other students play, because last time we went to the park, you were getting five students hurt, you have also been bad in my class since the first day. Oh my god. That's not fair, I have to sit down and watch everybody else have some fun, seriously, what the fucking hell. David, you better watch your mouth, and never say God's name in vain, God will get mad if you say that, say oh my gosh or oh my goodness, you're not gonna play in the playground and that's final, but if you behave at the park and just chill at the bench, then you can watch home alone with us after lunch, got it? Fine. Whatever you say. I will 100% behave at the park. That's what I like to hear. Now does anyone need to go to the washroom or take a drink? Nobody. Alright then. Let's go. All right, guys. We are here at the park. Now go have some fun, and David. Remember. No playing on the playground. If I see you on the playground or someone tells me you're on the playground, I will be calling home. And you will not watch our movie with us, got it? Got it. All right, David. Now go sit down. Race you girls at the high fly swing. See you at the high fly swing, Sophie. I'm gonna go with Ashley and James at the high fly swing. Hey Mrs. Catherine, look at me, James and Ashley. She can't hear us, because we are so high. We That was so much fun. Let's now go on the trampoline. Mrs. Catherine. Did you see us flying extremely high? Yes, I did. That was amazing. You guys have five more minutes to play and then it's recess time.
Let's go back to school now. Ashley, Sophie, and James. You three can go to class. I have to go to the principal's office with David for five minutes. Hey, Mr. Yallen. Oh, hey, Ms. Catherine. What did David do this time? David is not in trouble this time. I just want to tell you. He behaved so well at the park. David didn't get anyone hurt. He was so well behaved at the park. I told him he can't go on the playground, and he listened and kept his promise. David, I'm so happy about what you did today. You normally get in trouble, but you listened to Ms. Catherine when she told you not to go on the playground. If you behave more here, you will no longer get bad calls home to mum and dad. That's it. I'm calling your parents. Due to beyond logic, your backpack is already at home, so you can go home now. Yay. I have finally behaved today. David, we are so happy what your principal had told us. You followed a rule and you were watching your classmates having fun at the park. You're ungrounded forever. You can go do whatever you want. Yay, I am going to the park. But not the school park. Our park.